you have any idea how dangerous this job can be? Some out there, yeah. We ain't the predators. We're the prey. So one of the main themes of this movie is vengeance. And obviously not to this degree, but I'm wondering if there's anything that you would like to seek vengeance for, whether it's like, I can't believe my neighbor when I was growing up took my key man to, I can't believe the my my sandwich shop took away my favorite sandwich. You know, uh, I've let go of vengeance. Mm -hmm. I found that carrying vengeance around only hurts you, the person carrying it, and not the person that you want to seek vengeance over. So uh, it, I feel like my life was heavy and weighed down until the day that I learned how to release all the vengeance and live for me. You know, any success that I get is for me and for my family to enjoy, not to prove someone wrong who didn't believe in me or didn't like me or said I would fail. At one time in my life, that was my motivation. I won't lie. But I'm so thankful and so grateful that I've let go of that. You know, so I can't, yeah, I can't say that I have any, any need for vengeance anymore. Thank God. Paul said something kind of similar where it's like, as you get older, you sort of like can let go of that kind of stuff and just be like, no, like we're really, you good. You realize you know? that it only, it only hurts you. It doesn't hurt the other person. They're completely oblivious <laughs> to the yeah. fact that you have this inner goal to get back at them. They don't, they're just living their life. You know, so, uh, and, and it's weird because I find that in time, you know, you realize that it was a waste of energy. You know, you, you could have been utilizing that energy in other areas to better yourself. So that's what I try to do. I can't say that I'm always successful. You know, there's sometimes that I get mad and I get pissed off. Um, but, you know, I, I try my best to, to channel that into, all right, how can I use this for me and not mm -hmm. the waste it on them. Besides this movie, um, you know, Jason Statham and Guy Ritchie have made a few movies. Besides this one, what is your favorite Statham Ritchie movie? Is it Snatch, Revolver, Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels? You know, uh, I, would a, another I, would, I would definitely say Snatch was what kind of brought me into the whole Jason Statham, Guy Ritchie world. And then once I lived that experience, I started watching all of the other movies that they had done together. And I'm talking about back in the day when when they were working consistently. I'm, this is when I wanted to get into the business, you know, mm -hmm. and, and it really made me a Guy Ritchie fan. And I had always dreamed of working with him. He was on my list of directors to one day work with. And look, I, I never thought I'd get to work with him and Jason Statham at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, Jason Statham and I missed each other on the Fast and Furious franchise by one movie. I was in part four. <laughs> he came in in part five. So I didn't get to work with them then, but we got to work together here and it, it was awesome. I need to know who killed my son. The tree has been shook and it's been shook hard. We've scorched the earth. I am a tree. 